In this video, we're going to talk about ways that you can consolidate your CSS Flexbox code. And at the end of this video, I'll show you that there's an even faster way basically to add your Flex items. And this is usually good if you have a very dynamic site and you need to constantly add new sections with content. Now, of course, you can stick to what we've been doing. If you want individual CSS code for each one of these flex items, you can certainly do that. But if you take a look at this again, we really only have two types of boxes here. We have a large box and we have a smaller box. So we don't need separate CSS classes for each one of these flex items. We can consolidate that. So let's flip over to the CSS code and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you take a look at this, we really only have two types of code, like I said. We have this larger box, which really only has this flex grow item. And then we have a smaller box, which doesn't have the flex grow item. So do we really need, again, CSS code for each one of our flex items? We don't. And then the other difference is that we have, the other major difference is that we have the color. The color is obviously different. But what we can do is use inline CSS code to change the color of the flex item. And again, I'll show you that at the end of this lecture and you'll see how much faster this process works. So let's go ahead and change this class to large box. Rather simple and we'll keep it descriptive. And we'll change this one to small box. And then we can get rid of all the rest of this CSS code. We're not going to need it anymore. We'll go all the way down here. We'll keep the line break, of course. And there you go. Look how much easier that is. That's all we got now. Basically, just our large box and our small box. Okay, so let's flip back to the HTML because we got to obviously update this. So we're going to get rid of these boxes right here because we're going to come back and I'm going to show you just how much easier it is now to add these in. And we're going to get rid of this box right here. So we'll keep our line breaks, obviously. So what we want to do now is, like I said, oh, we got to go back. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Let's go back to the style because I said we're going to change the color in the HTML using inline CSS. So we can get rid of the colors of this, too. We don't need it anymore. We're going to define that again in our HTML. So let's flip back. And now we're going to go ahead and add inline CSS. And by the way, I heard somebody say that people don't use inline CSS anymore. That's really the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard. Serious web programmers still use inline CSS all the time because there are certain advantages in certain particular situations like this where it's actually very useful and faster to use it. And actually, you know what? We need to change our box here to large box. We change the name of the class, and now we're going to go ahead and add the inline CSS. So we're going to say style and then equals. And then we need to, of course, put the background color property that we want. And let's go ahead and select, what did we use before? Blue violet? I think we used blue violet. Uh, no, you know what? It was dark green. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use dark green. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and load this up. So we'll just open with live server. And there you go. Look how easy that was. So much easier. And you know what? I need to turn off my dark reader. Okay, there we go. So we get all of the CSS styling that we were using. Okay. All right. So you can see we've got our box one. And now you see how much easier this is to do. Let's flip back. And let's go ahead now and just copy and paste this line. And like I said, this is so much easier to do now. So we just call this small box. So remember, this one's going to be the small box. And we'll select the color brown. There we go. Let's make sure it's reflected over in our live server. So I'll flip back there. And there we go. It is. And so now this is just a situation where we can pick one of these two sets that we want. And you just copy and paste. See how much easier this is? We can add it right away and just change the color in the HTML. We don't have to go to the CSS style sheet and add all of that unnecessary CSS code. So I'm just following what we had in the original layout. So we're just going to put, I think we had a small box, large box next. So we'll just do this. I'm just going to keep the colors the same. You guys can, you guys know how to change the colors now. I'm just going to put another small box in. Well, you know what? Let's let's change it. Let's actually keep it exactly the way it was before. So we had purple, I believe, and then orange, and then blue. See how easy this is? It's so much easier. 
Okay, and that's not BB blue, that's just blue. There we go. And then we had two more below this other line break, and those were two large boxes. So we'll add those in. And I believe those are green and teal. And I keep typing wrong here. Okay, so now let's go back to the live server and make sure it updated and take a look at that. We have exactly what we did before. The only difference now is we have a lot less CSS code. So that's just so much easier to manage. So really it's preference. I mean, you can follow this way. You can just change the color here and add flex items in really fast, or you can do it the way we did it before. It's really preference. How do you prefer to manage your website in terms of CSS code? So I just want you to think about different ways you can consolidate code. That's really the key point of this lecture. How can I consolidate code? How can I think of different ways that I can manage my website in terms of my code in an easier way. Okay, as always, thanks for watching.